I was watching the president on TV last night. Bill Clinton is the joggingest motherfucker I ever seen. The Secret Service can't even keep up with him because Clinton claims to be a man of the people. He liked to wake up in the morning, eat breakfast at McDonald's, play the saxophone on TV, be hanging out on the corner with hoes and shit. You know, and the only reason I like Clinton because when the reporters ask him a question, he give up a real answer. Reporters will be like, oh, excuse me, Mr. Clinton, how do you feel about President Bush going over to Somalia to feed the starving Negroes? What are your thoughts about that? Clinton be like, man, fuck that, next question. <laughs> she asked me about some weed or something, I ain't. <laughs> man, it's 93, it's a new year. Gotta get paid, man. You gotta learn how to run a scam, man. Just to survive, you gotta know how to run game. Cause I used to work at a bank as a teller. It's hard working for somebody when you wanna rob them. <laughs> Every day I go to work, you know, I don't think they would suspect me. I actually had one of my friends come in and rob us one time. And I remember telling this brother, I said, look, man, this is what you gotta do. Come into the bank, write out a note, hand me the note, I'll give you the money, tell the manager it was a white boy, boom, meet you around the corner. You got that? Don't fuck this up, man. We gonna get paid, all right? And he was one of them dumb brothers. Yeah, 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 I got it, man. I got it, man. We all right, we gonna get paid. So the next day he comes into the bank wearing a stocking cap and stands in line. Like nobody gonna know he waiting for me. You know? So after about 15 minutes, he comes over to my counter and he hands me this note. And the note says, Dear Mark, This is a robbery. Put all the money in the bag, don't try nothing, nobody will get hurt. P.S. Meet you around the corner. <laughs> Dumb, man. I'm trying to figure people out, man. I'm trying to figure these white people out. I think white people been crazy way back since Evil Knievel. <laughs> Y'all remember Evil Knievel jumping over the Grand Canyon on a 10 speed? <laughs> That's some crazy shit. And white people have an expert for everything. You know, if they fucked up in the head, they go to a psychiatrist to tell them that they fucked up. And for sex, they listen to Dr. Ruth. <laughs> Dr. Ruth is 200 years old. <laughs> what does she know about fucking? Last person to hit that was a caveman. <laughs> I would not get my advice on sex from someone that ain't fucking. See, only white people do that. Only white people, hey, I need some advice. Can you help me? Black people, we will not do that. Brothers, we have a problem with our sex life. We just keep fucking. <laughs> it will work itself out. <laughs> Fuck that. But on the real, before I go, man, I want to tell y'all that there are a lot of elements out there trying to take us out as a community, as people. Brothers, if you're having sex, put on a condom. Please. Right, for real. Because it's just that simple. If you fuck without a condom, you die. It's that simple. Because AIDS don't give a fuck if you're black, white, gay, straight, whatever. AIDS dropping people off like flies. Sometimes I put on two condoms. Because I ain't trying to be one of these brothers walking down the street and fall out. Be walking down the street. Hey, you know I got some pussy last night. <laughs> New York, thanks.